Welcome back to Nifty Media guys. Today we'll be doing the rear brakes on the A45. It's going to be quite a challenging little process but let's get it done. Today I will be installing these. I've got a brake piston pusher tool that's going to aid. Just remember that's one of the little things that you have to take off, um, which I didn't even know I had to. But yep. So I've got a little bit of tools, and yeah, let's go for it. Let's put the car into brake pad service mode where it releases the handbrake, and this is what it looks like once the mode has been activated. And you like this car into pad replacement mode. Um, you pretty much just press the ignition to phase one, your key to just turn to one click, you press the answer call button and then you press the OK button. Then you'll get a menu like the placement, you switch off your handbrake and you say there we go and then you say OK. And this is moving to position. This is when it disengages the handbrake so that you can take the brake caliper off and the piston won't push out. Now our next step is loosening that and that so that I can get the, the caliper off. Um, it, takes <laughs> it takes a little more energy than I thought but it's not that hard getting there but I'll show you guys once I've got the caliper off. Okay, so it's time to do the next one. Let's get that in the... And then to break the Loctite, I've got this. I put it through there and then I pull down. And that seems to be loose. So now let me loosen the actual nut. I could get a job at Mercedes just doing brake pads <laughs> that would be the dream guys that would be the dream but anyway bolts on its way out hey look at that we got the bolt out so now let's, let's take this off See what's going on here. Holy oh, shit, on this. Okay, not bad, not bad. See, we're gonna go like from that to that. Gee, 
This is gonna make a big difference, eh? Okay, so I'm just taking the clips out. Taking the clips out, and then I'll be putting new ones in. Another good thing that I've always learned is when you're doing something like this, just clean the areas where the brake pads will be, and then things will also run a little bit smoother. Now I'm going to use this piston pushing tool to push the piston back. Hey. Yeah, to push the piston back. Actually quite curious to see how how well it works. Okay, so you line it up with your piston. And just like that, you push the piston back. Pretty simple procedure. <laughs> hey, this thing actually works really great. Yeah, this thing actually works really amazingly. Effortless and such a simple tool. There we go. All back into its spot. Okay, let me just put that over there. I'm just gonna put that over there. Doing a little clean, I'm gonna put these little clips on and then I'm gonna put the brake clips on. Okay, so after putting these clips in, I'm now going to pop on these pads. <laughs> Okay. Come on, that. With all the new pads, you can check the thickness. I'm going to put the caliper back on and then tighten up and then let's do the next one. New bolts with, with your pack. So old bolts get thrown away and always use the new ones, guys. Okay, just mocking these up. Okay, time to tighten. Changing the brake pads, changing the clips, doing a slight little wipe down. Um, I put in the new bolts, so now let me tighten them up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I've finished up the first brake.
So guys, this is like quite the DIY job, but at least I got it done. Number two, so this is one of the things that you must take off as well, is this little plate. Um, it's one of the plates that I never anticipated and never even thought I would have to take it off. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting little thing. It's just a little plate. It's just like a little AMG plate. Hold <laughs> on, struggling a little bit again. Hey, there we go. See, it's just a little AMG plate that goes on the back. I think it's just like a brake protector or something like that. But yeah, I'll clean that off just now. Let me loosen the bolts and then install the new clips with brake fat. Phew, okay. So pretty much what I'm doing is loosening that bolt and then loosening that bolt. Seven, 17, 13, because this bolt puts pressure on that bolt. So, phew, okay. Let me just quickly do it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so... You'll see there's like a... Okay, it wasn't supposed to come out in one go. Hey, pancake style, pancake style. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. Okay. Oh, not too bad. Still pancakey, but not too bad. Okay. So yeah, guys, please like and subscribe to Nifty Media. Really, I love the support. Uh, support helps a lot. So just remember, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think of the channel, what I should do next, and keep supporting. Push the camera back. Got this puppy again. Chopper. Okay, so let's put this bad boy in here again. Screw it all the way in. 
Okay, so you just keep twisting and eventually the piston gets pushed all the way back. It's really easy and I must recommend guys, if you guys don't have this tool, go get this tool. Okay, time for me to install the new bolts. Okay, make sure they, they line up. they line up nicely and then just hand tighten them and then after that hit them with the spanners just like that new brake pads in so I'm gonna put the wheels back on and then I'm gonna go for a little test drive to see how the new back brakes feel because when I got the front brakes down I felt amazing so I'm gonna do a little test drive and then I'll let you guys know what it's like but come along with me um, and I'll give my honest opinion. <laughs> About, let's do a little test. Hey, we don't hear anything crazy. Okay, cool. I'm so happy that it, it worked. Um, I'm quite proud of my abilities. But yeah, guys, stay tuned to Nifty Media. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, keep updated on the build. I've got some new parts coming in that are going to be quite interesting. From performance parts, um, all the way to something that's not really going to do anything crazy, but it's going to sound really cool. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys. I really appreciate it. And let's go Nifty Media.